A besieged leader, Reid, said today he has phoned the president and nearly three dozen black leaders in an attempt to undo the damage. I've apologized to everyone that, in the sound of my voice, that I could have used a better choice of words. His words, as reported in the new book Game Change, are from 2008, when Reid told the authors that then-candidate Obama had a real shot at the presidency because he was a, quote, light-skinned African-American with no Negro dialect unless he wanted to have one. The president has language. forgiven Reid. There was nothing mean-spirited in what he had to say. And he's always been on the right side of the issues. But and GOP fact, top brass insist he should resign from his leadership post. There have to, has to be a consequence here if the standard is the one that was set in 2002 it, with Trent Lott. Lott, a Republican, stepped down as majority leader after his comments praising a former segregationist were deemed by some to be racist. When Strom Thurmond ran for president, we voted for him. We're proud of it. And if the rest of the country had followed our lead, we wouldn't have had all these problems over all these years either. Even if Reid retains his post, the flap won't help his bid for re-election in Nevada, where recent polls show he'd lose to any of the three top Republican candidates. Add that to the two Senate Democrats who announced their retirements last week, plus the four other Democratic Senate seats in jeopardy, and the party in power risks losing its grip on its 60-seat supermajority, which allows Democrats to pass legislation without a single Republican vote. Each individual story, like a snowball rolling down the hill, it builds into something much bigger, and it, it leads to this impression broadly that Democrats aren't able to govern, that they're constantly squabbling, and that they're panicking about 2010. That's why Democrats are so eager to pass health care reform, so they have a record of accomplishment to show to the voters. And who's the point man on health care reform? Leader Harry Reid, which explains why the White House was rallying to his defense today. Katie? And Nancy, you said Senator Reid had called three dozen black leaders. What has their response been to what he's quoted as saying? By and large, powerful African Americans have been defending him as well. We heard from Reverend Al Sharpton, from the Attorney General Eric Holder. They say that while he may have made a poor word choice, that he was speaking an unfortunate truth, which is that white Americans, by and large, are still more comfortable voting for candidates who look and sound more like them, Katie. All right. Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill tonight. Nancy, thank you.